Hi, Kevin Purcell with Church Tech Today, and I want to show off Accordance Mobile. We've previously done a review of the Accordance Bible software for desktop, but today I want us to look at the Accordance Mobile app. Now, when you first open it, it looks deceptively, incredibly simple. In fact, it looks so simple, you'd look at it and think, what is this, basically just a Bible book reader? Uh, no, there's a lot more to it than that. And in order to show that, if you tap on one of the white spaces, you can bring up the toolbars. There's one across the top and the bottom. The first uh, tool here is uh, your table of contents. If you're in a Bible, it will bring up this uh, uh, Bible um, navigation window where you can go to a different passage by hitting the book, chapter, and then verse. All right, and next to the, that table of contents, we get the highlighter. Tap it in order to turn it on. And then when you drag across some text, it will highlight it. It will bring up the uh, highlighter menu. And uh, these are different options that you can choose in order to uh, highlight. Uh, for example, I've got this, uh, you know, a yellow highlighter selected, but you could also pick, uh, say, an underline, something like that. Then if you want to get rid of it, just select the text again and hit clear on the pop-up menu, and that gets rid of it. If you press and hold on there, you can change to the different highlighters you want, and then, of course, turn it off. Up at the top, in the middle, you have the name of the book. I've got the New King James Version with Strong's. That brings up all of your texts uh, that you might have installed, ready to open them. So let's go ahead and switch to the ESV with Strong's. Again, we tap in a clear space, and it brings up the toolbars again. The display is the next one over with the two little small and a larger A. You can increase or decrease, uh, make it brighter or darker. Uh, switch your themes from day to night. Let's go back to day, my preference. Change text. There's lots of different things you can do. Hit the all display and it brings up all of the different display buttons or display options. And then finally, if you want to search, you can go ahead and search. Let's type for uh, the word grace. This is a basic uh, word search. Um, and uh, if you need to add commands, you can do that, tapping on the command. So we'll type search for grace and love, hit enter. And notice it returns a number of uh, options. You can open that up. Now, if you tap and hold on the uh, verse letter, uh, you can look at it, show it in context. And so it'll show that in its context instead of just in that search results list. Go back and you see your search results again. Hit the um, search icon, which looks like a little pair of glasses in the upper left, and it goes back. Um, there are other kinds of things you can do in search. Bring up the options uh, in order to do more uh, refined kinds of searches. But we're going to cancel that for now. At the bottom, there's another toolbar. You know this is the library toolbar. Opens up. If you've uh, been using the app for a while, it'll have some recently opened books. And uh, you can clear this. We'll do that. Uh, if you didn't clear it, there was a back button that would bring you back to this stage and open your text. Again, let's go back to the King James. We'll bring up the library again to look some more at it. It's got other styles of books, everything from devotionals, English tools. That'll be things like dictionaries. For example, I have the ISBE. Tap the uh, toolbar again and open up other things. Uh, these will put them in the main screen. Another thing you can do, and we'll show you how to do it in a second, is you can put it in a second window. Uh, this second button here will sync, and when you hit that, by default, it's waiting for accordance on your desktop. In accordance on the desktop, you can tell it to sync if they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, or you can attach your installation of accordance to um, Dropbox, and it'll sync with Dropbox there. There's the settings Kind of a strange place to put settings, in my opinion. But anyway, it shows all the different settings. We're not going to go through each of these one by one. There's a store icon. You can buy a few books. Not all the books that they have available, uh, but you can buy some. And we'll get it back out of that. And then over here at the bottom right corner is a, a help. We can go to the table of contents. Uh, let's find out about... Sync with Dropbox, that we were just talking about that. We'll go to Done, close that out. Now in the center at the bottom, you've got these arrows. And so let's say we go to Nehemiah chapter 
12, verse 12. I'm not even sure what's there. But that brings this back arrow. So this is the history of the passages that you have viewed in that book. Notice it's going back and forth. The other ones, the up and down, will navigate in chapter. And then in the bottom right corner, this brings up the dual pane toggle. Uh, that toggles the dual pane. And you can also switch it so that they're top and bottom or left and right. And then when you do that, notice how they are syncing, but you can unsync them so that you can have two different passages or even better. Sorry, let's uh, open this up. Uh, we can go into the Tyndale commentary. All right, let's go ahead and sync them. And now we've got the commentary and the... I'm going to close this just for to get rid of the distraction. Now remember, I held this down and it brought up this list. These two arrows will increase the range. If you hit the left, it'll add a verse to the beginning. If you hit the right, it'll add a verse to the end. So now what we can do, I've got Genesis 4, 21 to 26. I can copy these verses, highlight them. I can clear the highlight. I can share these verses using the iOS sharing feature. Uh, or I can show them in context, which kind of doesn't make sense here because we already have it. Um, let's do this again. Uh, if I don't have a range of verses, I've got all these options. Uh, one of the most powerful features that I like in Accordance is this Amplify. And so what it does is it opens up the uh, passage in my chosen commentary. That's, that's the highest ranking commentary in my library. NICOT, that's the New International Commentary of the Old Testament, is the highest one. If I hit Edit, I could drag this and change it. So maybe if I want to now have the New American Commentary as the highest. And what that allows me to do is change what will pop up when I hit that um, Amplify button. Now, if I go and let's say I want to study uh, here in Genesis 4, 19, we're going to study the word dwell. So tap and hold on it. That brings up two things. It brings up this menu just above the selected word. It also brings up this box. It's the instant details window. If you've used accordance on the desktop, it's got the instant detail window. And in the instant detail window, it shows this entry in um, various books that have, uh, uh, this is a tagged verse. And so it's going to show it in um Tagged books that show Strong's tags. Also, it's going to show the word dwell in the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. That's, again, your first dictionary or encyclopedia book on your, your list. Now, I could search for this word, or I could amplify it, and you get three options. Search for the word. That's the, the tagged word, so it'll be the Hebrew word, tagged by key number. Or you can search by the lexeme. All right, and so that's going to find that lexical form in, uh, in the scriptures. Overall, I think that the uh, Accordance mobile app, which is, by the way, free, um, it, it's free to download, and you get a few books if you register it. Uh, so you're having a, an account with Accordance, you'll get even more free books. And then you can purchase books uh, over at AccordanceBible.com and add those to your library. If you've already purchased a number of books because you've been a user of the desktop app, then these will mostly show up in here in, in your library. I'm very pleased with it. The only thing I'm not crazy about is I, I don't really use the notes feature um, in Accordance because uh, as I, I've, I've probably said before, Accordance isn't my number one choice. And the only reason for that is I've got a huge library that I've paid for in another uh, company's program and it's just you know I don't want to have to rebuy a lot of those books. Accordance will give you discounts if you already own some books uh, but still it's just not uh, feasible for me. However if I was starting over today I would probably start with Accordance. This has been Kevin Purcell showing you the Accordance mobile app for Church Tech Today. Thanks for watching.